what's up what's up what's up youtube and welcome to my channel my name is janiqua but i prefer to be called neek and here we're going to be completing this icy blue look if you like what you see then stay tuned also don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe any mistakes here we're going to take it in love and keep going because this is my first go <laughs> all right so here i'd already completed my eyebrows off of camera and I'm taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer here and basing my eye my eyelids with it um, to give the eyeshadow something to stick to and also to make them pop. Um, and then I'm just going to blend that out with my Sigma brush and then set all of that with my Beauty Bakery um, Flower Setting Powder, which is my favorite setting powder to date um, so far that I've actually tried out. I am a beginner, so any mistakes or um, anything I do wrong, please take it in love. I would love to learn new techniques, so comment them down below. I'll be more than happy to take any um, constructive criticism, you guys. Constructive criticism. So don't get on here being rude, mean, and nasty and stuff like that. Let's do constructive criticism. I'll take it in love, and we're going to keep going. I'm learning, and I plan to grow with you guys. Um, so let's keep going here. Alright, so here I am just using a primer here to prep my face for the foundation I'm going to lay down a little bit later. I do complete my eyes first to keep fallout from getting onto my face because it takes me a minute to blend out my face and get it how I want it. So I refuse to mess that up. And you do see me chewing here like a cow. I'm about seven months pregnant, so I was really hungry. I was eating some Brussels from my mom while I was prepping my face and getting ready to jump into the eyeshadow look for this video. Alright, now, so we're going to get into this eyeshadow palette here. It's an all blue palette that I got from an indie brand and she was nice enough to send it to me. It was amazingly pigmented. Um, I was excited to use it, couldn't wait to get into it. So we're gonna take that very dark blue in that bottom corner that you see me point out. And I'm just singing Grey but sing that song. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna take that color and pack it into my crease. And the reason why I'm packing it in there is because this first color that I'm laying down, I just want the pigment on it. I, I don't need to blend it out. I don't need to do anything with it. I just really want it to pop and bring some depth into my crease. The method that I'm using here is, from my understanding, called the reverse method, and I'm still learning to perfect it. Um, when I use darker colors, I typically like to use this method. Um, any neutral colors or lighter color looks, I go from light to dark, and I typically go from the brow bone down into the crease. But when I do bold looks like this, I like to do the reverse method. So I'm going to take that second blue there to blend out that first blue so we don't have that really 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 harsh line going on um and to make the eyeshadow look flow a little bit more here um it's used the palette being the way in the way again this is my first time actually recording myself so um i'm still learning how to you know use the mirror and look into the camera so you guys can see and all that good stuff I'm used to just sitting there doing my makeup and not having to make sure anybody else can see. <laughs> I'm going to go in with an even lighter blue from that palette to put closer to the brow bone to blend out that last shade. So that there are no, again, no harsh lines. That's one thing I did learn throughout makeup is the one thing you want to get rid of is any type of harsh lines. Everything should look like it's blending seamlessly always. And that's one of my biggest things is blending i will blend until my fingers fall off oh i get it blended out as much as i can so that nothing looks harsh all right you guys so next we're going to get into our juvia's place palette yay we all know juvia's place is bomb pigmented palettes <coughs> excuse me so we're gonna take that black out of that palette and place it into that crease because i wanted it to be a little bit deeper than what it was coming off and I'm not going to use like a whole lot of black, just a little bit. Um, and I'm not even going to take that all the way into the inner corner. I'm just going to go up and blend that in halfway. But I just wanted that outer corner to be just a little bit deeper than what I was getting from that blue. And that was the darkest blue in the palette. So I wanted it to be a little bit deeper. 
so you see me going back and forth between the black and the blue in that palette blending it out to make sure that I'm not losing that blue but also you can see that the black is there I'm then going to go on with a little bit of makeup remover here and I'm going to clear off the eyelid um, the purpose of doing this is so that way when I get ready to lay the lighter concealer it does not turn blue and does not um, mess up the concealer the lighter concealer for the darker colors that I'm going to lay on there or for the lighter colors that I'm going to lay on there and I learned this technique just from watching YouTube a couple of different YouTubers have used this technique and I love the way that the eyeshadow looks come out when you do this so I started doing it you just take a q-tip and basically cut your crease with it here I'm going to take this flat concealer brush and cut my crease with it um there's another technique that i typically use to and i'm sorry that my again mirror is in the way um but there's another concealer technique that i typically use to cut my crease with it which is a eyeliner brush which i'll do a detailed video on that a little bit later um but this is my favorite concealer brush and it was clean so i was like let me just use this one it'll work a lot faster but if you don't know how to cut your crease please stay tuned and i will teach you how i taught myself how to cut my crease with a eyeliner brush because it just turned out a lot easier and it was easier for me just to draw the line and then fill it in versus trying to use a flat head brush all right now that i have both crease cut i'm getting ready to go in we're getting ready to start laying some colors on these lids and bring that look to life so then we're going to take the first color that we place into the crease and blend out the edges. But first we're going to pat the concealer on the lid dry first so that way that the eyeshadows that we get ready to lay down does not drag and that it does not um, get wet from the concealer. So we're just going to pat that dry and then we're going to take the first blue that we went into the crease with and blend out the outer edge with. And you'll also see me going back and forth with that in the black so that it is a smooth transition from that deep blue to that black so that we got a really 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 dark outer corner because that's kind of what I was going for here and if you hear regrets in my background um my five-year-old is sitting here quietly <laughs> watching regrets so um while I'm trying to do this voiceover in one take all right, now we're going to go in with the shimmer shade in that blue palette called Periwinkle. I didn't show it, but it's the shimmer shade in the top at the middle. Um, and I'm just going to pat that onto my crease. Because it's a shimmer shade, you will see that it'll get a little bit more pigmented as you swipe it. So I would recommend that you swipe this color onto your lid. It also helps you blend it into the matte shade a little bit better. So you'll see me blending that into the matte shade. You'll see me going back and forth with the two to try to get it to look as seamless as possible. Um, you almost want it to look like magic, I call it. You want it to look like, wow, that color really went from dark blue to a lighter blue to an even lighter color, which would be white in this case. Um, and there is no lines. Like, you want the blend to be seamless. Now we're going into another Juvia Space palette. And we're going to take that white shimmer shadow in the middle there and place it in the inner corner of the eye. Again, this is going to help the eyeshadow look pop a little bit, bring some brightness to it. Also, um, it is a shimmer color as well. Another technique to make your shimmer, show, your shimmer shadows pop is to spray your brush with a little bit of setting spray. Um, I didn't feel the need to in this video, but you can do it. Um, this works good on pigments as well as shimmer shadows. Um, to get them to pop a little bit more but here you just see me patting in and swiping it on and blending it into the blue so again you see it go from the deep black on the end to that deep blue the lighter blue and then the white and um it's all going to blend together seamlessly and believe it or not what a lot of people don't realize is sometimes the eyeshadow look, looks kind of crazy until you throw the eyeliner on and then once you throw the eyeliner on you be like oh okay okay i see what you did there girl i see what you did there so <laughs> don't give up if it doesn't look like it's trying to blend or if you feel like you know what i've been blending this for 
20, 30 minutes. I can't get that line away. Just keep going. Never give up in the middle of the look. Keep going. Because as you can see here, look, it looks like it's blended seamlessly. Once you throw that eyeliner on and the lashes on, girl, you're good to go. But I'm just using this Pond's Face Moisturizer. I got it from Walmart. It is bomb to moisturize my face because I forgot to a little bit earlier on in the video. But I got this from my favorite um, YouTuber. Her name is Sydney Lillian. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I love her and I definitely use this particular face moisturizer because of her um and then we're getting ready to lay down some foundation which is like Estee Lauder this is full coverage foundation it looks like I'm laying on a lot but I'm not I just put a lot of dots all over my face but this is full coverage and I want to think this is my, my summer shade you guys because I typically use this foundation and it doesn't look to start but as I'm recording and looking at the um reviewing like the recording and stuff i noticed it did look a little bit darker than what i normally like it to but don't worry we're gonna place some concealer down and all that good stuff to brighten it back up so but i'm going to place that all over my face and use the sonia cash sponge that i got from target this is a bomb sponge it's firm and it doesn't suck up a lot of the product it's amazing it's huge it's way bigger than a real technique sponge and you can get two of these for like seven dollars at target and if you haven't noticed by now, yes, I am a bargain girl, so don't worry. We got the drug store tutorials coming up real soon, shorty. We're going to get you right with not a lot of money. All right. So, as you can see, from just that little bit, I love concealer. We're going to lay down the Milani Plus Perfect Concealer um, all over the face to highlight with. And we're going to use this to bring forward these features on our face, under our eyes, the bridge of our nose, the center of our forehead. We're also going to use the, um, on the chin and the cupid's bow. It's typically what I do. And again, this just brings these features on my face forward. I go in with a little bit of a brighter concealer under the eyes, under the eyes only. Because I'm extra and I just like that little bit of extra pop under the eyes. Um, and it'll all blend out perfectly in just a few minutes as you'll see when I get ready to start blending out with my Sonya Cash sponge. But yeah. And I do want to apologize that my first video is a voiceover you guys. But my lighting was trash. I couldn't find a good mic. But it was so much stuff that was trying to stop me from doing this. But I said I refuse to go another year without being on YouTube. Because I feel like somebody needs to see this talent. And, you know, it might encourage you. Who knows? You're a beginner along with me. Let's jump on this thing, girl. And let's let's get these followers. Let's, let's, let's show people that it's okay to be a beginner. And show what you know. And we can learn and grow together. And that's the whole point of my YouTube is to say that everybody doesn't start out looking like B. Marie or Taylor Made Jane or Jackie Aina. We start from somewhere. And oh, here I'm just setting with the setting power. Like I told you, my favorite is the Beauty Bakery um, flower power. And I am going to um, go into a different setting powder, a drugstore setting powder when I get ready to do my drugstore routine. Um, but yeah, we can we can be little YouTubers. We can start from somewhere, you know. And this is just being recorded on the iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can start from anywhere and become those people. And the only way to become those people is we got to start. So now I'm going to go in with my Milani Compact Powder in the shade 109. 1109. And I got this from another one of my favorite YouTubers who actually I learned my complexion routine from. Her name is Sue Divinity. Um, her name is Sue. Her, the name of her YouTube channel is Petite Sue Divinity. She's from Jamaica, but we were close to the same complexion, and I learned how to do my face from her. Um, she doesn't use foundation. Um, sometimes I don't use foundation, but my skin has been terrible from this little girl that I'm getting ready to have, so I just bust out the full coverage. But I'll definitely go into showing you guys how to get a full face look without using any um foundation as well um but the milani compact powder is the bomb you guys i love it it is close to my skin and it's not heavy it's lightweight also i wanted to my milani bronzer which i feel like is a great bronzer um to bronze up your face with it is amazing 
like I can really snatch my face with this, y'all. I really get a snatch with this. But again, my foundation was a little dark today, so yeah. <laughs> um, you really don't see that, but, but I, it, it typically shows up really good. Um, that's why I kind of was like, you know what, I'm not going to go too ham with the bronzer today because my face already looks a little dark. I don't want to look too, too dark. I don't want to look dead. You know, I don't want my face to look crazy. But I do the size of my cheek, my, my face. So I'll go into those cheekbones to get those done. The size, the bridges of my nose, I use it to pretty much get my nose like a light, light contour. I do the, under the cheeks, like the chin area. I chisel my chin and chisel my cheek. And this also makes your face look a little bit slimmer. So you basically give yourself plastic surgery with makeup, which is what I love. Um... And then I'm going to set my face with the Mario Badescu Cucumber Water. This is going to bring your face back to life because we just put a bunch of powders and we look like a powder donut right now. So we're going to use that and we're going to pat that into the skin with the Sonya Cashka sponge. Alright, 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 already girl. We got that padding in. Now we're going to go into the, I want to say the lips. Are we doing the lips next? Yes, we're going to go into... No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to go... We're going to finish up these eyes first, girl. And so we're going to take just a regular black pencil liner. This is a good one. I don't know the name of it. I don't remember where I got it from. I am so sorry, you guys. But this is my favorite black liner. Um, it glides on easy. I use it in my waterline all the time to keep me from using gel or put liners in my waterline. Um... And then I want to blend out that black shadow with the lighter blue that I showed you there in the palette. It's not one that I've used the whole time, but it is one that is going to make the look pop just a little bit more. This just gives a look a little bit more dimension and brings a little bit more of to my face. And that way the under eye doesn't look dead. So um, I line my lips with just a brown liner and I'm going in with this Milani lipstick here. Um, I love this lipstick color typically, but it was just a little too new for today's look. I wanted my lips to do a little bit more than what they were doing. So you'll see me going with a different darker brown. Um, Milani, a more matte liquid lipstick. And I think that shade was Covet. I think that was the name of it. Um, I'll put that down in the description box below. But I outlined the line, the outline my lips with that one, and then went in the middle with a little bit of Cover Girls um, from the Chocolate Collection. It's a lighter, I think it's called Latte, but I'm gonna put that in the description box too. Um, but just a little bit of that as well. So I'm burning my lips and give my lips a little bit more of an oomph going on to it, girl. And let's get these lips on and popping tint, okay? We got to get these lips right because I got big lips, y'all. And I can't be walking around my lips looking any kind of way. Like, that'll be one thing that'll mess up the whole look. Your lips be all kind of messed up. All right, so now that we got that together, we're going to go in. I think we're ready to highlight right here. Yes, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter. I love it. This is just a regular eyeshadow brush. That's just a little bit too big for my eyes that I use typically for my highlighter so I can put it in a more precise place. I use fan brushes. I use big brushes just depending on how I want my highlighter to look for that day. But you guys are getting ready to see how this eye um, illuminator really just pops on your skin. It's not a deep, deep, deep gold. I do use those. But for this look, I wanted to use like a lighter gold today. And I did go in with the highlighter. So bridge of the nose. Um, tip of the nose, I did the forehead, which I don't do all the time, but I was just going off because I love this highlighter. <laughs> so I was just going off with it, but you're going to see me while I'm like, okay, I done ran out. And I just kind of go in with the large brush and start blending everything in. So again, even on your face, you just want everything to look really seamless. So I'm just taking the same powder brush that I use with my Milani to go in and um, blend everything out. And I'm going to add my mascara. And I did go all the way to the end of the lashes because these are cheap lashes. And I want them to be a little bit bolder. But we are coming to the end of the video here. And this is the finished look, y'all. I was so proud of myself. I got through it. The girl was tired. She was hungry, but she did it. 
again just like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me if you have any suggestions that you want me to try i will be more than happy to try them but i do have some things in store for you guys coming up in 2020 let's grow together on youtube y'all again my name is neek and welcome to my youtube channel let's become family girls um yeah that's about it all right and i just want to say deuces